Joining us now here on the MMA Report on Radio Influence is the man that's going to be taking on Kendrick Latchman in the main event of Shamrock FC 272 Sharky Slider. Of course, we had Kendrick on the show last week. Now we're going to talk to Sharky about his, this matchup where he's making his 125-pound debut. Sharky, appreciate the time. Uh, obviously, very young in your career. i got to ask you, what, what made you uh, decide that you wanted to be a mixed martial artist? Uh, man, I was a wrestler my whole life, and uh, once I was done competing in wrestling, um, I took about six months to a year off. I tore my shoulder, and uh, I just knew I was missing something. I'm a competitor. I love to compete, and uh, I had a friend, Tyler Stokes, that was fighting at the time. He was pretty successful with it, and it looked like a lot of fun to me, and I just started training with him, man, and absolutely fell in love with it. And I enjoy it probably ten times more than I did wrestling, so... Um, that's what got me into it. Is there anything particular about why you believe you enjoy this much more than you enjoyed wrestling? Um, I've wrestled for so long. Um, wrestling's such a grueling uh, grind. It's just you know tough every day. It's the same practice basically. Uh, you're just you're just grinding away, and I love the grind. But um, it got to the point after twenty some years of wrestling, it just becomes monotonous and. Uh, you know, I mean, I still love to compete. I love to go out there to tournaments, but the training, it just got a little old. And uh, the fighting, you switch it up. You got boxing, Muay Thai, jiu-jitsu, wrestling. I mean, every day is something different. And, uh, you know, I got so far in wrestling that um, I achieved a lot. And it's, it's kind of nice starting over and getting to work from, you know, the bottom, work my way up and see what I can do in another sport. Is there one discipline of MMA that surprises you how much you enjoy training? Um, is there a discipline? I'm yeah, sorry, I mean, I, I, I mean, is it question. you know if you know, let's say if I would come to you a couple of years ago and said you know you're going to really love jujitsu or boxing or kickboxing, that maybe at that time you would have thought you would have loved as much as you do right now. Right, I actually thought I would love jujitsu, you know, because. I was really good at jiu-jitsu, just starting out just with the uh, positioning of wrestling and stuff. Um, and I thought I was going to like boxing. You know, my dad was always a boxer and stuff. But I never seen myself throwing kicks and stuff like that. But really what I love most now is Muay Thai. And uh, I look forward to that. I mean, every practice. And I just love working on my striking. It's the funnest thing to me. It, it beats everything else to me. So it's, it's, uh, I enjoy that like no other. Pro Day de- debut take, took place back at the end of, of last year. You, you've been very active, had a fight in March, a fight in May, and now, now this fight uh, in, in July. What, first off, in that pro debut, what do you remember the most about that night? Um, it was just a lot of support, man. I had a lot of people out there. It was an out-of-town fight. And, uh, I had hundreds of people come out and watch me. Um, I packed the building, and uh, it was just a good night, man. I I didn't get to execute like I wanted to, but, I mean, I got the knockout in 47 seconds or something like that. So, I mean, you really can't argue with the end result. Yeah, obviously, young in your career, have you learned more about yourself in the two wins or the one loss? Uh, Definitely the one loss. Um, it, It just, it opened up a lot of things to my outside life and, you know, priorities, um, You know, I'm trying to do a lot of good things in my life, but, you know, there's only time for for so much. So it's priorities of do you want to be a world champion or not? And, uh, you know, the the coaching kids wrestling and, um, you know, everything else, the work in, that's got to come second if I really want to be a world champion. So um, it just opened up my eyes and and showed me, hey, man, put this first because you got a great opportunity right now and you got a short window. So. Just basically, you know, opened up my eyes to capture the moment and uh, just get my priorities in check. I, I've talked to a lot of fires who, who will say, you know, there, there's a lot of sacrifices you have to make when you, when you make that decision of this, this is going to be your career. You're, you're going to be a you know a professional prize fighter. For you, what what is the biggest sacrifice you've had to make? Um, you know that that's the right there. That's what it is. Just you know, separating. Um, you know, what comes first, you know, of course, family and, and other things, you know, it's tough not to put them first sometimes. Um, but it, it's, yeah, probably just the sacrifice of, of time where it's spent and, uh, you know, just staying focused, the sacrifice of clean eating, 
um, making sure you make every practice every day, you know, make your runs, all that. I mean, there's just a, a lot of sacrifice that goes into the sport that people don't realize. You know, it, it looks good from the outside, but man, it, it's tough. If you really want to be the best and, and you're really doing what it takes, it's it's very tough. And, of course, dropping down to 125 pounds, come here at Shamrock FC 272. Uh, is this a permanent move, or was this a situation where I was offered a flyweight fight, and I said, all right, cool, let's go? No, I mean, uh, I've always believed I'd be able to make 125 um, since I started. I just didn't see any reason in the Amis to, to cut all that weight. I was just trying to get better, you know. Um and I've taken fights up just, you know, to get a better fight. I just want the best fight possible. Um, I would like to stay at 125, but I'm I'm not opposed to, to fighting someone really tough at another weight class, you know. I just I just want tough people, and I want to get better, and that's it. And taking on Kendrick Latchman, he, he enters this fight following a loss against Kevin Gray. Uh, I'm sure you've probably watched that fight. I watched that fight, and I was kind of – I, I didn't understand how the judges didn't have the fight his way. I, I thought he won two of the three rounds. But, uh, you know, when you look at Kendrick and, and taking that next step up in competition for yourself, what, what are some of the challenges that he's going to present to you? Man, Kendrick's active the whole 15 minutes. So, you know, I made sure I got my cardio right this training camp. Um, I know he, he's a gamer, man. He's there to bang. He's going to be in your face. You rock him. He's going to shake it off like it ain't nothing. He's going to keep coming. So um, he, he's – He's going to push me in other areas that no one else has been able to, and uh, that's when you know my true talents are going to show. So uh, I'm very excited. Kendrick, Kendrick's going to put on a tough fight, but uh, I, I do believe I got what it takes. What do you see as you know if you're if you're thinking about one of the keys to victory for you in this fight? What would you say it is? Strength, power. I'm gonna outpower him. I'm gonna bully him. Like he's my little brother. You know, you mentioned about the toughness that he has, and you know, in his last fight, he got taken down a couple of times, but he was able to work his way back up. Um, you know, is that something where you, you kind of view your wrestling background really be will be the key if the fight does go to the ground that he won't be able to get back up? Oh no, I'm I'm planning on Kendrick being able to get back up. He did a great job versus Kevin Gray. Um, so I'm planning on him if, if I take him down to be right back up to his feet and uh, I'm going to have to beat him on my feet. And, uh, you, you know, that's why I said Kendrick's going to be, bring out the best in me because I'm planning on having to go to war on our feet and, uh, you know, that no one else has made me have to do that. So that's why I'm really excited for this fight. You know, if I take him down and, and I think my power can hold him down, but that's not what I'm looking to do. And, and like I said, I'm fully expecting him to get, get up right away if that happens. With the drop down to 125, did that did that alter training camp at all for you? Oh no, man! <laughs> if anything, it just pushed me a little harder, man. Like, hey, you can't skip this second, third workout today. Like, you you can't. You you don't you don't have any room. Like, you're sitting heavy. You got to go. You got to get it off. So, yeah, I mean, if that altered anything in a positive way. And you know, you, you talk about Kendrick's gonna is gonna push on fight night, but are there some guys in the gym that uh, you just know? You know, like if it's a day where you need that push, you go, I need to get with that guy because that guy just knows how to push my buttons. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, we got killers at HD, and uh, it, it's awesome, man. Because you know, that's who I'm, I'm. Every every round, I'm looking on my shoulder. Who's the next? Who's the next best guy that can you know beat me up and and push my limits? And you know, there's guys in there that. That uh, they're they're gonna they're gonna beat you up, man. They're gonna push you. They're gonna make you tougher, and then they're gonna stop and help you after. So, um, yeah, we got killers: Jake Aiken, Dustin Kramer, L.C. Davis, Jason High, um, Deron Carlos. I mean, we got a bunch of people coming in cross training: Jason Witt, Carrillo. Um, man, I mean, I'm sure I'm forgetting many, but it's, it's just a gym full of killers. And, I absolutely love it there. I mean, I know, you know, in every gym, you know, there's there's going to be bad days you're going to have. But for you, for you, how do you make sure you, you don't let those uh, bad days get to you and um, to where, you know, if you have a bad day on Monday, that that, that doesn't uh, just tran- transform into Tuesday session? How do you make sure that you keep that frustration uh, out of your brain? Oh, man, uh, probably this whole training camp, I had one frustrating practice that I can recall of, and I was just like, Really frustrated, you know, just like uh, more than anything, I just felt like I didn't get better that day. And, 
you know, the, the goal is just to get better every day. But um, can't beat yourself up too, too bad about it. You know, I was frustrated that night. You wake up in the morning and you say, hey, man, you know, two days can't go to waste, so let's get out there and get better. And, um, you know, if you just have the right attitude and positivity, um, there's no reason you should have multiple frustrating days in a row if you're putting the time in and doing what you're supposed to. You mentioned about training L.C. Davis and Jason High, and obviously, you know, they – they are, are well known names in the MMA community with the promotions they have fought in. For you, what are what are some of the biggest uh, learning lessons you take from them? And, and maybe is it more mental learning lessons as opposed to the physical learning lessons? Um, you know, uh, Jason and Elsie are two different people, and they bring two different aspects to the coaching and, and the game. Um, if anything, it's just being around them. You know, watching how they go about their life, um, learning everything you can from them in class. Uh, I just try to pick up everything from everyone, man. That, you know, even if their their skill level is below you or whatever, I'm just always open to listen to anyone and uh, just keep my ears open, man, trying to be around and in the mix. And, you know, that's all you can really do. But just really how they go about their life is, is good examples and, and uh, they're good mentors. And Sharky's going to be in the main event of Shamrock FC 272 coming up on Friday, July the 8th in Kansas City, taking on Kendrick Latchman, main event of the fight card. Details on the event are available, shamrockfightingchampionships.com. Really appreciate time, Sharky, and good luck in the fight. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Have a good day.